Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of TMAC Metrics, I'd like to welcome you to the Fall Symposium for the May Summit. My name is Michael Majlani, and I've been working alongside John Traveler, Jeremy Peacock, Nate Mensa, and John King, and we're here to present to you our completion of a Network Managed Power Distribution Unit, also known as the IPPDU. For those of you who don't know what a power distribution unit is, they're simply high-grade power strips that have rack mounting capabilities and extra features such as fault tolerance. I'd like to talk, start off by talking about the market gap. Currently, there are next to no military-grade smart PDUs that have a graphical user interface in the military. Acumetrics, being a company that delivers total power solutions primarily for the military, saw this gap in the market and wanted to fill it. That's where we come in. Back in the fall semester, Acumetrics tasked us with building a fully functional prototype PDU that could be remotely controlled and monitored by an application. We were given no formal schematic or further functional specifications. Despite having no previous power electronics or application design experience, Acumetrics trusted the creativity and talent of the students here at URI and gave us the freedom to build our own product from the ground up. Originally, Acumetrics had a best anticipated outcome of a fully functional prototype PDU, as well as an accompanying application that could remotely control the system with toggling outlets and monitoring statistics such as total power. Uh, we met this outcome by the fall semester, by the end of the fall semester, and decided we as a team decided to extend this best outcome to having a functionally complete product. This functionally complete product can be seamlessly handed over to the Acumetrics team and pending verification testing and compliance testing can be posted on their website for staff. For smart hardware, we had to find a way to safely pass power through the system while also being able to collect data. We were able to incorporate key features such as voltage sensing. Voltage sensing incorporated a step-down transformer and a refrigerator-defined sub-circuit. We were also able to include Hall effect current sensors. Originally, our technical directors recommended we use an isolated differential amplifier. However, with research, we found that the Hall effect sensor was more efficient. Both of these sensors include an isolation barrier. This isolation barrier is able to incorporate high and low voltage. This, this voltage difference on the low end is able to allow us to include a include a microcontroller that is able to collect all the data to allow us to have a smart power distribution unit. Looking forward, after designing this circuit, we were able to add a auto-ranging input. This auto-ranging input allowed us to use our 120 volt outlet and add on 240 volt capability to be able to safely toggle between the two. Adding this feature enabled us to expand the marketability of this product to a global level. Broader implications, sorry, broader implications of this. We, as it currently stands, we have eight outlets for our system. As it stands, we can expand, expand this to 12 outlets. And on top of that, we are able to add on 128 possible sensors to the future development of this product. We didn't just develop a product. We made a scalable platform for future development of this system. Now, along with the hardware, the user has no interface with the system without a software application. Now, there are countless types of platforms and operating systems you can develop for making developing for all of them potentially costly and time consuming. So, when deliberating over what type of application we wanted to develop, we opted for a web application. A web app's cross-platform capabilities meant we could provide Acumetrics with a full software solution given our time constraints. Now, our first goal is to have the user be able to see the data on the system. This is the most fundamental aspect of the project. 
the user needs to know what's happening on the system, which is why they are able to see historical and real-time data. Without this smart feature, something could go wrong in the system and the user wouldn't be able to know that, potentially leading to critical appliances shutting off. Users also tend to have their own uh, data analysis and collection tools, which is why they're also able to export the PDU's data for their own external collection and analysis. Now, we know the user won't always be actively monitoring every single PDU, which is why they're able to receive notifications when something unexpected in the system occurs. Now, imagine you are preoccupied, not paying attention to the PDUs, and one of the PDUs starts drawing a very large amount of current. Normally, you wouldn't be able to know that until something finally breaks. But with our system, you can receive email and text notifications instantly when it happens, showing you what happened and what PDU was affected, allowing you to protect your applications on time. Now, the PDU is also able to receive notifications. This is because rather than just focusing on our product as a standalone product, we kept Acumetrics other products in mind, such as their uninterruptible power supplies or UPSs. UPSs and PDUs are generally connected together, so we thought they should be able to communicate. To do this, we use the Simple Network Management Protocol, or SNMP, to have the PDU receive notifications when the UPS switches the battery power, such as during a power outage. Now, during a power outage, extending the battery life of the UPS to keep critical systems on as long as possible is essential, which is why the user is able to select which, app, which outlets are not essential to be able to turn off when the PDU receives an on-battery notification from the UPS. Now, we've been talking about being able to read data from the system. The user also needs to be able to interact with the system. PDUs are generally on server racks, which are physically out of the way, which is why users are able to remotely toggle outlets so they don't need to be physically at the PDU. Extending this past manual control, users are also able to automatically schedule to outlet toggling um, through an automatic scheduling functionality. Now, saving power is crucial for both the economy, for the environment, and for saving money, which is why with an automatic scheduling feature, you will no longer be able to forget to turn off non-essential appliances at night as it can be automatically done for you. Security and system reliability are both essential to any engineering system. Not many capstone and projects cover these topics due to their life experience. Last semester, we were one of these projects. As a result, we made sure that this was a priority this semester in order to give Atrometrics a head start on non-functional requirements. To guide us, we follow the CIA triad, which stands for confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Confidentiality by preventing unauthorized users from accessing the application, integrity by making sure the verified is trustworthy and verified, and finally availability by making sure the information is there when needed. We first tagged confidentiality by having a login system. Later expanded on that by forcing HTTPS and make sure it's a secure channel communicating between user and server. We also allow the user to upload their own SSL certificate using the open SSL library to verify. We, on top of that, we use the argon 2 hash algorithm in, in order to protect our passwords. Um, the algorithm is both computationally intensive and memory consuming for CPUs and GPUs to brute force. Next, moving on to integrity, we use SQL prepare statements in order to defend against hackers and attackers um, from the linked data and showing passwords. Finally, on availability, to defend against net website crashes or DOS attacks, we utilize a security software that block, blocks sources of network request flooding. So outside of security, uh, a key feature was our responsive web design. So no one likes going on their phone um, or snapping the window to the side uh, of their monitor and having the site become unusable. So we use CSS, the styling language, to restructure our user interface to become more um, usable and pleasing for the user, um, regardless of the screen size.
So currently we have a fully functional product after finishing some non-functional tasks along with sending our product through design verification testing. Acumetrix has the ability to release our product on the market and begin developing on top of our platform, which could be used as a capstone project for next year. So as we come to a close, we'd like to thank our technical directors, Brandon Smirbeck and Peter Upchek. Without their support, we would not have accomplished as much as we did. And of course, Dr. Sunak for giving us this opportunity and allowing us to find what we truly are passionate about. Thank you. Thank you.